Hello and welcome to this learning video. Now words, the video lectures would be in a sequence where we're going to discuss the properties of Laplace transform and the scenario of these video lectures would be one video lecture comprises with one property followed by its proof and an example on it. So let us start with the very first property which says if c1, c2, cn are any constants and f1t, f2t, fnt with respect to which the Laplace transform are f1s, f2s, fns then prove that Laplace transform of c1, f1t plus c2, f2t plus cn, fnt is c1, f1s plus c2, f2s plus cn, fns Okay, so just read it once again. C1 to Cn are constants, and what does it imply? F1 t, F2 t, Fn t with respect to which the Laplace transform are F1s, F2s, Fns, meaning thereby F1s is the Laplace transform of F1 t, F2s is the Laplace transform of F2 t, and so on. And then we have to prove this result. Okay, so let us start with the given thing. So, what is given to us? We are given that what is given? Laplace transform of F1t is equal to F1s. Right? Then Laplace transform of F2t is F2s. So, in general I will write Laplace transform of Fit is Fis i is equal to 1 to n. Is it okay up to this? Then what we have to prove? We have to prove this. So you can write here to prove this. Okay. So we are going to start with the left hand side and try to get the right hand side. Okay. So what is it? left hand side that is LHS is same as what is it Laplace transform of C1 F1t plus C2 F2t plus Cn Fnt okay now just apply the Laplace transform what does it mean L L is a Laplacian operator. Okay, so you can apply the definition. Do you remember the definition of Laplace transform? What is it? Laplace transform of f of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f of t dt. Okay, here in place of f of t, we have this bracketed quantity. So, like this, we can write down the Laplace transform of this. So, I will write this one as integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into c1 f1t plus c2 f2t plus cn fnt. Okay, dt, yes, correct, dt. Now, it's an integration, so you just have to separate the integration. So what does it imply? This implies integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into c1 f1 of t plus dt, sorry, plus integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into c2 f2 t plus and so on plus integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st c n f n t dt simple now what you can do is this is integration what are c1 c2 c n these are constants you can just take out of it and you can write this one as c1 integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f1 of t dt 
plus take out c2 common and you can write c2 integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into f2 of t dt plus and so on cn integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into fn t dt simple now this can be written as c1 what does it imply this is nothing but the definition of Laplace transform of f1 of t so this integration get replaced by Laplace transform of f1 t plus what is the second one c2 Laplace transform of f2 t plus and so on cn Laplace transform of f and t from where we are writing this by the definition of Laplace transform we are writing this clear now after writing down this you just need to just need to uh, replace this c1 f1 t c2 f2 t and cn f and t by this result okay because for i is equal to 1 we have Laplace transform of f1 at f1 t is f1 s likewise for i equal to 2 and i equal to n Okay, so you can write this one as C1 F1S plus C2 F2S plus CN FNS. Okay, and what is this? This is the right hand side that we wanted it, right? Which is equal to RHS. Simple, very simple result. So what you need to uh, do is you just need to write down the uh, given thing then take the LHS apply the definition then uh, elementary integration is there then you just have to take out const constant outside of the integration apply the definition of Laplace transform make use of the given thing and we are through to the proof okay so this completes the proof of this property now why this property this property as you can see is what we are doing it taking constant outside and taking Laplace transform of function so this property is called as linearity property this is linearity property and this is the very first property so you can write it as number one okay so if this clear to you at last you have to write therefore this equal to this so you can that much you can write okay now after this uh, let me let me write it after this equal to RHS okay so after this you can write therefore this equal to this okay now this linearity property as the name itself suggests this is a linearity property so this linearity property allows us to take constant outside and take Laplace transform of the functions okay so let us take an example on this okay you can make an example of on your own no no issues okay so let me take an example now Now we are taking example on Laplace transform. So example find Laplace transform of 7e to the power 2t plus 3 sin t plus 4 t this this is given to us and we have to find out the Laplace transform of this. So, as we are heading towards the properties of Laplace transform, so you must know at least the elementary Laplace transform, okay? Because that is the requirement whenever you are going to solve the problems, you need all those elementary Laplace transform that we have already seen, okay? So, 
to find Laplace transform of this, so you can just uh, make use of the linearity property. You can write Laplace transform of 7 e to the power 2t plus 3 sine t plus 4 t is equal to what we need to do just take out linearity property uh, take out constant outside and take Laplace transform of the function e to the power 2t plus 3 outside Laplace transform of sine t plus 4 outside Laplace transform of t okay now these are elementary Laplace transform 7 so what is Laplace transform e to the power a t Laplace transform of e to the power a t is 1 upon s minus a so here a is 2 so this is s minus 2 plus this is 3 what is Laplace transform of sin t sin t is a upon s square plus a square here a is 1 plus 4 Laplace transform of t square is 1 upon s square is it so these are the Laplace transform of this okay simple now let us take one interesting problem example number 2 find Laplace transform of sin 2t into say cos 3t cos 3t okay so we have to find out Laplace transform of this but we haven't seen Laplace transform of product for the time being so what we need to do is we need to apply the formula over here so you can just uh, write it like uh, Laplace transform of sin 2t into cos 3t is equal to Laplace transform of 1 by 2 into 2 sin 2t into cos 3t this is mathematical adjustment multiply and divide by 2 simple so this is 1 by 2 I can take outside by linearity property and here you can write 2 sin a cos b what is the formula for 2 sin a cos b sin a plus b plus sin a minus b right so you can write sin 2 plus 3 is 5t plus Sine of 2 minus 3 is minus t. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Here you can write by linearity property. By linearity prop. Okay. So, now you can write easily 1 by 2 Laplace transform of sine phi t. What is sine of minus theta? Sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So, here minus Laplace transform of sin t. Okay, now you can uh, you can easily write it. So this is a a is five five upon a square plus five square minus one upon a square plus one. So this is nothing but my Laplace transform of sin two t into cos three t okay so i hope uh, the things are clear to you we can take more problems uh, during the interactions also so thank you for watching and keep learning thank you